Hey guys, Brian here with another foundation repair tip of the day. So we've talked about how helical piers can benefit you in utilizing them for a project. Now we're going to discuss some of the types of projects that you wouldn't want to use or types of soils that you wouldn't want to use a helical pier on. So the first one being a soil condition that has real rocky boulders or real dense cobble material in it. Um, the problem with using a helical pier in this type of material is that the helical screw won't be able to displace the rocks enough or screw through the rocks to get to competent material. So you're either going to A, exceed your insulation torque and have to go to a larger pier to get through, or B, you're going to have to pre-drill anyway to create a funnel to get your helical pier through. Um, if that's the case, you may want to then look into going to a push pier or transition the project back over to a case on a micro pile. So that's kind of one of the reasons why you can't use helicals in uh, rocky soils. Uh, in our next one, we'll talk about another uh, scenario where you wouldn't want to use them as well. And that's your foundation repair tip of the day.